What if everything you know about reality is just a fraction of what's actually possible? What if time, something we all experience every single day, isn't the only thing that shapes our existence? Welcome to the Atomic Domain. Today we will talk about the fourth dimension. Without wasting time, let's dive into it. We've all heard about the fourth dimension, right? It's often described as time, the invisible force that controls everything we do. We wake up, go to work, have a conversation, and everything in between. It's all dictated by time. It seems like the fourth dimension is just about how we move through time. But what if there's more? What if there's a whole other layer to it, something beyond the ticking of a clock? Imagine waking up tomorrow and finding that the way you experience the world has completely changed. Suddenly, you can step into alternate versions of your own life or move between different moments like flipping through pages of a book. What if this wasn't just some sci-fi fantasy, but a hidden truth about the reality we live in? What if time wasn't the only way we could experience the fourth dimension? Let's first take a quick step back and get a basic understanding of what we mean by the fourth dimension. You're probably familiar with the three dimensions of space, height, width, and depth. These are the dimensions that make up everything we see and experience in the world. You can measure the length of an object, its width, and how deep it goes into space. These three dimensions are pretty straightforward, right? Now, when we talk about the fourth dimension, we're usually talking about time. Time is the dimension that moves forward, always pushing us ahead, never letting us go back. It's the dimension in which everything exists. The seconds, minutes, hours, and even the aging process are all bound to time. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time and space are tied together into a single entity, what we call space-time. Time isn't just something that happens to us. It's a part of the fabric of the universe, working hand-in-hand -hand with the 3D space we live in. So, in a way, time becomes the fourth dimension that shapes everything in our reality. But here's where things get interesting. What if time wasn't the only way we could experience the fourth dimension? Imagine, instead of time just pushing us forward, there were other ways the fourth dimension interacted with us. Maybe, just maybe, it's a gateway a portal to other experiences of reality. What if in this fourth dimension, there are multiple realities, each one a different path, each one unfolding in a completely different way? What if the fourth dimension wasn't confined to just time, but rather it was a multi-dimensional space that allows for experiences beyond what we can currently understand? This is where things start to get a little wild. The fourth dimension could be more than just time. It could be a multi-dimensional space where different versions of reality exist side by side, all connected in ways we don't yet know. Okay, let's dive into some theories that might help us understand this idea a little better. First, let's talk about the multiverse theory. This is the idea that there could be multiple universes out there, all existing simultaneously. These universes could be similar to ours, but with slight differences, or they could be completely different. Each one might follow its own set of physical laws or timelines, creating an endless number of possible realities. So, where does the fourth dimension fit into this? Well, think about it. If time is just one experience of the fourth dimension, what if this dimension is the bridge between all of these parallel universes? The fourth dimension might not just be the forward march of time. We could be looking at a cosmic highway that connects different realities. And then, there's space-time. As we mentioned earlier, time and space are intricately woven together in Einstein's theory. So, it's not just that time exists in a vacuum, but that it's linked to space, creating a fabric that shapes everything in the universe. In this sense, the fourth dimension could be a flexible space where time and reality can bend and connect in ways that we don't yet understand. Finally, there's the concept of higher dimensions. 
We live in a three-dimensional world, but physicists speculate that there are dimensions beyond the three we experience. These dimensions could provide pathways to other realms of existence or even explain things like quantum mechanics. If the fourth dimension is just one part of a larger, higher dimensional system, then who knows what kind of realities could be lurking just beyond our reach. But, okay, let's get back to us, human beings. We're stuck in this 3D world, right? We can't exactly perceive the fourth dimension as anything more than the passage of time. That's because, as humans, we are limited in how we perceive the world. Our brains are designed to understand only three dimensions, height, width, and depth. We've never had to think about the fourth dimension as anything beyond the ticking of a clock. Our experience of reality is built around the flow of time, so we don't even know what it would feel like to step outside of that. But what if we could? What if our minds were able to expand and comprehend the fourth dimension as something more? What if we could move through time as if it was just another dimension, like stepping from one room to another? What if, instead of being trapped in linear time, we could jump between different moments in our lives, revisiting the past or peeking into the future? Imagine you could access different versions of your life. What would it be like to live through different paths? What if you could experience multiple timelines, each one unfolding in its own way? Okay, now let's have some fun with this idea. What would life be like if we could access multiple timelines? If we could walk in and out of different versions of reality, experiencing what it would be like to make different choices or live different lives? Let's say, instead of just one version of yourself, there are infinite versions, each one living out different possibilities. One version of you might be living a completely different life in another timeline. You could jump into that life, see what it's like, then step back into your original reality. Imagine having multiple lives simultaneously, but experiencing them all in the fourth dimension like flipping through a book of your own existence. It would be like living a thousand lives at once. And here's the craziest part. You'd still be you. You'd be experiencing reality from a perspective we can't even begin to fathom today. Now, I know this all sounds pretty wild, but here's the thing. Our understanding of the fourth dimension is extremely limited. Our brains are built for the three-dimensional world we know, and trying to wrap our minds around higher dimensions is like trying to see the world from the perspective of a fish in water. We can sense it, but we can't fully experience it. It's hard for us to even imagine something beyond time and space, dimensions we can't directly interact with. But that doesn't mean they're not out there. Maybe one day, science will catch up and help us understand how these other realities work how the fourth dimension connects everything in ways we can't yet grasp. So, where does this leave us? The fourth dimension is a concept that has the power to change everything we think we know about reality. Time might be the most obvious experience of the fourth dimension, but what if there's more? What if the fourth dimension is a gateway to multiple realities, all coexisting in ways we can't see or touch? The possibilities are endless. And who knows? Maybe the fourth dimension is just waiting for us to unlock its secrets. So, here's the question I'll leave you with. If you could step into alternate timelines or experience different versions of your life, what would you do? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this mind-bending journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.